Hello everyone, we are Dean Silvalaini from University of Mudurkuma and today we are here to present to you about food bars. So let me start off by giving you a small introduction about the problem we have to solve. Food wastage is a major problem in Sri Lanka. Around 5000 metric tons of food is wasted daily with about 600 metric tons being in Colombo alone. Food insecurity is the state of not having regular access to nutritious meals. In Sri Lanka, around 6.3 million people are unable to access nutritious meals regularly, with around 5.3 million being forced to either reduce or skip meals. <coughs> Our solution to minimizing both food wastage and food insecurity is food bars. Food bars <coughs> is a mobile platform designed with the aim of providing a platform to redistribute food to minimize food wastage. It connects users who are willing to offer excess food to those who need them. Our target market includes the general public, which is, like I mentioned, people or corporations who are willing to give away any extra food with the people who are in need of food. We also aim to help uh, organizations like food banks and other non-profit organizations. Foodpass has several key features, some of which are outlined here. We offer a free and pro version. So the pro version is used if food donors wish to offer food at a price, otherwise all offers will be by default free. The pro, version, the pro version will also not have any advertisements. We also plan to use a rating system that allows food donors and food makers <coughs> to rate each other after food exchange, which will act as an important measure of quality. We also use map-based locators where users can view the locations of the currently available posts on a map. They can directly view the post by then clicking on the location here. Our primary source of monetization will be, will be using the monthly subscription fee for the pro version and also any advertisements of sponsors will be shown to users through the app. The usage of IdeaMart APIs is outlined here. We plan to use the SMS API to verify the OTP within the user registration process and subscription API which allows users to subscribe and unsubscribe from the pro mode. Now let's have a look at how the app works. Thank you, Gurangi. Now let's go through that. At the start, you can either log in or if you are a new user, you can sign up. In the sign up process, you have to enter your uh, mobile number and your uh, account type. The account type can be organization, personal or non-profit. The sign up process is completed using OTP verification which will be sent to your mobile phone. Once you log in, in the, uh, in the home screen, you can see currently available posts uh, in your These posts will have information like uh, the book type, donor, donor information, uh, rating, and the distance to the location for the pickup. Next, there will be a filtering uh, system for you to search for posts. For example, you can filter based on offer type, book type, distance, ratings, and many things. And when you click on a single post, you will be redirected to a dedicated uh, page for that post. And uh, you can uh, see a many information there. And from there, you can directly uh, chat with the, uh, the user. And there, you can, as you can see, you can directly uh, rate that other person as well. Next up, we have the map tab, where you can see uh, currently available foods that are that near that your location. And upon clicking a post, you can directly go to that post view. And the third tab is the message tab, where you can see your messages, uh, previous messages with other users. And finally, the my post tab, which shows all the posts that we have already published. And here, each post will have uh, three states. The first is, once you create a post, it will be initially in the available state, which will be at that state, all the users can see this post. In the second state, uh, where a, a donor can reserve the post uh, for another user. And finally, once the uh, delivery is com once the handover is completed, you can move it to the completed state. And here, as you can see the icon, you can uh, create a post using this icon, uh, and you can you have to add all this necessary information. And finally, uh, in your profile section, you can upgrade to the pro version, and also you can edit your profile. This is a quick overview of our application. Um, thank you for listening. Any questions?